So today I'm going to do a get ready with me video. I know a lot of you guys requested that on Instagram. So I thought, why not? Let's get this done. First, I'm going to start off with the First Aid Beauty Intense Hydration um, Moisturizer. And I'm applying that all over my face. I don't know, I love, love, love this cream on my face just because it's super thick and it's a good base before I put any makeup on. I'm also adding the Mario Badescu just to kind of hydrate my face. Um, and I'm finishing it off because I'm going to switch out to All Clean Beauty. And then I'm just using all the products that I have and then starting off fresh. Then I have the facial mask. I don't know, I'm weird and I like to make myself like a little cocktail. So it helps. And now my face is all glowy. But what I hate the most is my under eyes. And we're just going to apply that underneath my eyes. It's a peach corrector from, I think it's Ari Girls. I really, really, really like putting this before I apply any of my concealer just because it's like just gonna really correct that redness and poofiness and it's just not cuteness. So, yeah. Um, I'm just kind of blending it out with my sponge. I sometimes use it like a finger. Oh, now we're moving on to my brows. I was reading off my little notes that I have on my phone, so I got distracted. So first, I'm just kind of applying the Anastasia Beverly Hills in dark brown, and I kind of just do little hair-like strokes on my brows. Um, I have been, like, growing them out so they're a little thicker, which I don't mind, honestly. And then I'm using that uh, facial mist, the witch haze, and I'm just spraying the brush. It just kind of intensifies the color, too, and, like, just really helps me um, apply the little the color on my brows I couldn't even think what to say and then I have like a dispel uh, like one of those mascara wands and I love love using those to just brush out my hair yep just like so up 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 down but probably you've probably seen this a hundred times but I thought why not wipe everyone down with a good tutorial so yeah now, what's everyone been doing on this little quarantine life? Anything fun? I've been literally just chilling, getting in this workout. And I think I did the 19-day challenge. It was free on Facebook. Um, shout out to Five Star Fitness. It's pretty, pretty cool. I'm literally so sore. My knees hurt. I don't know if that's from being old or me just doing so many squats. But I'm so excited to see the 19 days before and after. They did make us do like progress pictures. So we'll see if it's a big difference. But I'm up there on weight and I've gained so much weight just being lazy and having a lot of Sauvignon Blanc <laughs> and tequila. <laughs> Anyways, if you see here, I'm kind of doing like hair like strokes up a little bit just to really help define because there's some pictures where I see like my eyebrows cut off in pictures but I don't know if it's like the lighting but I've got I'm really starting to like buff it out a little bit further in without look making it look like super square yeah so now I'm taking the spoolie and I also have this like soap um I like dampen it up a little bit and this just kind of helps be like a really good um what is it like clear brow gel um and it just kind of makes my eyebrows stay i know you guys have probably seen the soap brow thing it does work i do like it but yeah those are my brows for this look just touching up some spots all right now um if you hear a little buzzing sound in the back it's literally in my fan it's just so hot in here i don't want to turn it off so yeah if it bothers you i'm sorry but I'm using this photo ready. Um, I think it's Maybelline. It's a stick foundation. Let me look on my thing. I wrote it down. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's actually Revlon Photo Ready Insta Fix. And I'm just using this one to like kind of clean up my brows if there's any like um, brown that's anywhere just to clean them up. And it's of my it's my color, so it kind of just helps with that. And I'm just using 
a flat brush just to blend it all out. And it's matte too, so it just kind of helps get rid of any shine. Now I'm going to use, um, I think it's my, I'm trying to think, oh my gosh, I don't think. Ooh, oh, Born This Way. Yeah, it's in the Born This Way. I didn't have the color in the bottom. It kind of disappeared, but I'm using that just to kind of um, create a good base on my eyes before I apply any makeup. Just blending it out with the Beauty Blender. I think this is the e.l.f. one. I really, really like the Beauty Blender from e.l.f. Alright, now I'm taking my Adri Wind. It is going to help just kind of even lighten it up a little bit more. It is the neutralizer color. I kind of apply this as a base for my eyeshadow. Um, I want to get the cream. I forgot what brand it is, but everyone uses it to cook crease. And it's like super nice for eyeshadows. And if you hear my dogs fighting in the back... I hope it doesn't matter, but they're going nuts. Lucy is beating up on little baby snow. All right, now I'm taking just uh, any translucent powder, and I'm kind of just setting that so I get a really good transition shade. Um, I wouldn't necessarily do this since we are cut creasing but I did it just because I usually do it and I wanted a good blend between all the transition shades on my crease so I'm starting out with this revolution what is it called let me look on my notes it is a revolution reloaded neutrals 2 palette Now I'm just blending all those colors together, just making sure they're all blended. So I just like to kind of overlap different kinds of colors in the same kind of family and just really get in there and get a good crease color and like dimension. I'm trying to think of like the exact word to describe this, but it's definitely just a good way to get it all blended so you don't have any lines. Now with a good cut crease. So with this Adri Wine, the color neutralizer, I'm taking kind of a flat brush and I'm just going to do my cut crease onto my lid and just conceal that part so that way I can add a good little shimmer. So I kind of start from my inner corner and like halfway through my lid and just kind of bring it up and give it that good like moon shape half moon yeah half moon shape and I just kind of blend it all out until I get the perfect moon shape or half moon and yeah and then I go back and just kind of really conceal make sure it's all smooth <laughs> So after I do the cut crease, I'm going to 
just apply a shimmer shade. I probably should have done something more contrast, like a different color, but I wanted to do the shimmer and I picked the lightest shimmer in the palette and I just applied that on the concealed part and just kind of packed it all in. And I just did it on one eye and then I just wanted to see what it would look like. Just packing it completely on. I kind of blended out the edges too because I don't know if that concealer was probably the best choice to do the cut crease because if you see it doesn't really look as defined as most of the other cut creases that I've seen. But I tried and it was cool. But the after picture looks way better. And with the eyeliner and lashes. Now after I'm going to just kind of fast forward this part I'm gonna do my face and you guys can just watch it I'll put some cool music so enjoy